love fit all back with another video and in today's video I went grocery shopping and I wanted to show you what I got do you know what this is I'm sure you do it's a cruciferous vegetable it is one of the healthiest vegetables that you can get all vegetables are healthy but this is one of the close to best ones that you should gravitate towards I'm gonna tell you why Eating high amounts of cruciferous vegetables such as dark leafy greens and broccoli has been proven and known to prevent and fight against colon cancer, prostate, lung cancer, melanoma cancer, and pancreatitis cancer. The sephorophane found in broccoli is what gives the broccoli its cancer fighting abilities. Another important vitamin found in broccoli is folate which helps decrease and prevent the risk in breast cancer for women. The mechanism of why folate in broccoli is so powerful is unclear, but researchers have been shown that it may have something to do with the DNA and RNA production and prevention of mutations. Broccoli improves your bone health. Those who suffer with poor vitamin K have been known to have more issues with bones and having more fractures. The vitamin K in broccoli is so beneficial because it has been known to prevent osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, arthritis and anything to do with bone health. Broccoli is a great anti-inflammatory which helps in joint mobility and functions. Just one cup of broccoli a day can give you almost a hundred percent of your daily recommendation of vitamin K. Eating more foods like this, your dark leafy greens such as broccoli, brussels sprouts, kale, cauliflower, which have vitamin K in it, can help increase your bone vitamin health. Vitamin K helps to improve calcium absorption and reduce calcium excretion for urinary. Eating a cup of broccoli a day can give you almost 50 milligrams of calcium, which contributes greatly to your daily intake. Broccoli makes you look younger. When you think of vitamin C, you don't normally think of something like this having vitamin C. You think of things such as apples, citrus fruits, oranges, plums, peaches, and such, but this has a great amount of vitamin C and antioxidants which have been known to help in preventing skin damage, help in fight and free radicals forming in your skin, just helps to give it an all vibrant glow look, helps in premature aging, wrinkles, keeps your hair nice and fancy. Vitamin C plays a very important role in collagen and not to mention the vitamin A and vitamin E that is also found in broccoli that just helps overall boost the morality of what is so special about this little green thing. Fiber, 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 fiber. If you need more fiber in your day, instead of going for them fiber bars, AKA candy bars and cereals and such, get you real natural fiber. Vegetables got fiber too, guys. Adding more fiber into your diet will help you be more regular going to the bathroom, helps with constipation, helps with bloating. Now I'm gonna be real. If you're not used to it, it may make your stomach, you know, kind of do its thing, but hey, that's what it's supposed to do so you can go to the bathroom. Let out all them toxins. Get rid of harmful carcinogens. Not only does getting rid of bad things in your body help your body function better, feel better and such, but it actually boosts your immune system and decreases inflammation. According to the Department of Internal Medicine and Nutritional Science in Kentucky had shown and proven higher fiber intake in plants and vegetables such as these helped in decreasing heart disease, heart cancer, chronic issue, illnesses, sickness, diabetes, obesity, prevent and stroke, help to lower blood pressure, help to lower cholesterol, help to improve insulin levels and keep them stable. Need I say more? People fail to recognize that broccoli has protein. Plants have protein. You don't have to have a protein supplement. You don't have to go crazy on the protein protein bars, on the protein cereal, on the protein milk, on the protein, 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 anything and everything they can make protein out of, they make protein out of nowadays. Approximately one cup or 1.5 cups of broccoli can give you three to five grams of protein. So the more cups you eat, the more protein you get. And the more broccoli you eat, 
and the more vitamin A, C, K, E, D, folate, sulforaphane, all that stuff goes into your body. Potassium. Broccoli's got potassium too, not just bananas. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so earlier we talked about the sulforaphane in broccoli and how beneficial it is for you. However, when you cook it, you decrease slash minimize the nutritional benefits of that sulforaphane property. But what I had just recently learned, thanks to Dr. McGregor, one of my favorite vegan doctors, he's got a book called How Not to Die, gives you legit ways how not to die. So if you're trying not to die, check that out. But the way to get the maximum sulforaphane into your diet and to get the most benefits from broccoli is eating it raw. I know it's kind of hard for some people to eat it raw. Don't drench it with ranch dressing. Well, if you have to, eat your broccoli. Do whatever you gotta do. Maybe just put a little bit of ranch, you know, like dip your fork into it and then dip it onto the broccoli and such. Start to try to incorporate it more into your diet. Get the feel for it. Get your body to get used to it and I promise you, you will start craving it. It's, it's so good. It's such a beautiful little plant we have here. So, Eating it raw gives you the most benefits of sulforaphane. What happens is whenever you are doing the mechanical chewing, it releases the sulforaphane properties and such. And you can also get that by cutting it. It's releasing all the properties. So, if you want to cook your vegetable, this vegetable, and still maintain those properties, then cut it wait 40 minutes, then cook it, and then add some mustard seed to it. Mustard seed has also been known to give some sulforaphane properties, you know, fighting against cancer, helping in overall health. And so if you like to eat your vegetables cooked, just sprinkle a little bit of mustard seed on there and that way you can give back the sulforaphane that was taken away while you cooked it. You can research a little bit more on that. That's what I've heard and that's what I do because Dr. Gregor told me that so that's why I do it. We do everything Dr. Gregor says, okay? I really hope you did something great for your body today and I really, really hope you at least try to incorporate more broccoli into your diet and that way you can benefit from all the benefits. Talk to you later.